Hi, second graders. We are going to be doing a read aloud of the book, The Vegetables We Eat by Gail Gibbons. This text is a little bit longer, so I want to remind us of a couple listening goals we've been working on throughout the entire school year. The first one I want us to remember is to take some nice, deep breaths. Again, this text is a little bit longer, so we want to make sure that we're taking big, deep breaths to prepare ourselves. Okay? So let's take one big deep breath in and big breath out. Big breath in and out. Okay, I feel ready. A couple things to note before we begin the read aloud is this text is an informational text, which means it's gonna have a lot of really cool information, which also means that it's a nonfiction text, which means all of the text in here is true, okay? The first thing I notice about this page is that it has some words inside of the illustration. This nonfiction text feature is called a caption. Okay, you're going to see a lot of captions throughout this text, and I'm going to be waving my mouse around everything that I'm reading. So if you ever get lost or you're seeing some words that maybe Miss Daly isn't reading, just track my mouse and you'll be able to follow along. Okay? The Vegetables We Eat by Gail Gibbons. Look at all the vegetables. Vegetables are the parts of plants that are grown to be eaten. Most are annuals, some are perennials. I'm going to go up to my two captions up here. This one says perennials are plants that grow for many growing seasons without having to be replanted. Annuals are plants that grow for only one growing season. They must be replanted to grow again. It is good for us to eat vegetables. They are nutritious and help keep our bodies strong and healthy. They are tasty too. We eat vegetables in different ways. Vegetables grow to be different shapes, sizes, and colors. Botanists group the different kinds of vegetables according to the part of the vegetable that is eaten. There are eight groups of vegetables. Leaf, bulb, flower bud, root, tuber, stem, fruit, and seed. And a caption right up here says, a botanist is a scientist who studies plants. I notice we have another nonfiction text feature. Up here, I see that this is a heading. A heading typically tells us what that whole page is going to be about. So I see a heading up here. I see some captions all throughout my illustration. I'm going to first head down to my text and then we'll go through the rest of the features. Leaf vegetables. We eat the leaves of these vegetables. Iceberg lettuce. Here's another picture of iceberg lettuce and some other lettuces. Romaine lettuce, bib lettuce, and red leaf lettuce. Some other leaf vegetables, cabbage, watercress, parsley, spinach, and Brussels sprouts. I notice a new heading. This means that this page is going to be in an entirely different topic or subtopic. Bulb vegetables. We eat the bulbs that grow beneath the ground. White Spanish onion and some other onions. Yellow globe onion, red globe onion, sweet vidalia onion. Some other bulb vegetables are leeks and scallions. Now we have flower bud vegetables. The flower buds of these vegetables are eaten. White snowball cauliflower and some other cauliflowers. Cheddar cauliflower, purple head cauliflower, and some other flower bud vegetables are artichoke and broccoli. Notice that all of the captions and the illustrations on this page have to do with our heading. 
this heading will tell us that this page is all about root vegetables. The roots of these vegetables are eaten. They grow beneath the ground. Some examples are early wonder beets and some other beets, Detroit dark red beets and red ace beets. Some people eat beet greens. Some other root vegetables are parsnips, turnip, carrots, radishes, and rutabaga. Tuber vegetables. The edible part of these vegetables, the tuber, grows beneath the ground. Some examples are Kennebec potatoes and some other potatoes, yellow Yukon gold potatoes, red Norland potatoes, russet Burbank potatoes, and purple Peruvian potatoes. This page will be all about stem vegetables. The stems of these vegetables are eaten. Some stem vegetables are perennials. Gold self-blanching celery. Celery is an annual. And some other celeries, forward hook celery, giant pascal celery, and some other stem vegetables include asparagus, which is a perennial, and rhubarb, which is a perennial. Fruit vegetables. These ones look a little bit familiar. Hmm. Here are some fruit vegetables that we eat. Best boy tomatoes and some other tomatoes. Beef eater tomato, ultra sweet tomatoes, yellow tomato, cherry tomatoes, and sugar plum tomatoes. Some other fruit vegetables are the eggplant, cucumbers, yellow squash, butternut squash, pumpkin, zucchini, hot peppers, and sweet peppers. As I'm reading this book, I'm thinking to myself, ooh, I recognize a lot of these vegetables. This page will be all about seed vegetables. I know this because this is the heading and the heading tells me exactly what these couple pages are going to be about. All right. We eat the seeds of these vegetables. Of, sorry, we eat the seeds of these plants. Some seed vegetables grow in pods. Sometimes the pods are eaten too. We have green beans and some other beans. Pole beans, yellow wax beans, kidney beans, navy beans, lima beans. Some other seed vegetables include green peas, snow peas, and both of these peas have pods. We also have seed vegetables, which are corn. Corn is a seed vegetable that does not have a pod. It has a husk. The soybean. Soybeans are a special seed vegetable. They can be used in many ways. Some soybeans are used to make food products. Soybean oil is used to make many non-food items. Some examples are margarine, tofu, soap, soy sauce, cloth, plastics, paper, paints, and soy milk. And here we have a caption. It says, soybean oil is used to make most household vegetable oils. On my next page, I have a whole new heading that tells me how to grow your own vegetable garden. When it gets warm enough, many people enjoy planting, growing, and later harvesting their own vegetables. Most often, they buy packets of seeds that have directions. Fertilizers are substances added to the soil as food for plants. A shovel may be used to turn over the soil. A rake may be used to smooth the soil so it is ready for planting. Some people plant starter plants, also called seedlings. Most of the time, vegetable seeds or starter plants are planted in straight rows or in circles. Sometimes string or sticks are used to help plant straight rows or to support climbing plants. When seeds are planted in a circle and covered with a mound of soil, the mound is called a hill. 
Here's a picture of some starter plants and some seeds. A trowel is used to dig small holes for seeds and seedlings. The garden must be weeded and watered regularly. The plants begin to grow. Here we have a whole diagram of what this might look like and some captions. A sprinkler, a hose, scarecrow, watering can, and a hoe, which may be used for weeding. In cities, people may grow vegetables in containers, like sweet peppers, green beans, lettuce, tomatoes. The vegetable plants will become bigger until they are ready for harvesting. Great big vegetable farms. This must be a new subtopic because we have a brand new heading. Farmers fertilize the soil. Then the fields are plowed, harrowed, and planted. Fertilizers are added to the soil. A plow turns over the soil. A harrow smooths the soil so it is ready for planting. A planter places the seeds in a straight line. Big sprinkling systems are used to water the vegetable plants. At the end of the growing season, the vegetables are harvested. Some vegetables are picked by hand. Other vegetables are harvested by machines. Refrigerator trucks haul the vegetables to processing plants. There they will be washed and sorted. Some are frozen, some are canned, and the rest will be sold fresh. The vegetables are shipped to stores near and far away for people to buy. At grocery stores, fresh vegetables are on display. Canned vegetables line shelves. Frozen vegetables are found in freezers. I have a connection to this page because I know when I go to the grocery store, I see tons and tons and tons of vegetables. Some people buy fresh vegetables at farm stands. It is fun to pick out what to buy. Look at all the delicious vegetables. And on this very last page, we have a ton of super fun facts that you can go ahead and read if you'd like.